Hey guys, what's up? This is I'm a Genius here, and today I have a quick little video for you on getting over 20 megabytes per second continuously on the Straight Talk network using their LTE speeds. Now, here we go with the first speed test and ping not doing too well, but 210 milliseconds on the ping, and the download looks like it's at 29. Uh, the upload around five right now. Now again, this is on LTE Straight Talk Network, and this is more towards the top speeds you can get. I don't get these in all areas. Uh, sometimes it drops down, and a couple of these tests are, as you can see, if you pay attention to the time, not right in order. Uh, I did about like every other test getting speeds like these. It wasn't every single time. But here again, uh, getting just about 1819 on the download again, ping 200. Looks like the download dropped a little bit down to 17.61 right here. Then the upload, 3. All right, there you go, 3.78 on the upload. Now we'll give it another shot again. Let's just show you some more proof that on Straight Talk you can be getting these speeds. And look at that, see, a little bit of a jump. It's not, this is during uh, rush hour. As you can see, I was actually on the train with these at 6.57 on a train moving, so it wasn't completely even, but here's just a real life example. Um, 108 on the ping this time, and 9 on the upload. Now this is some pretty damn good speeds for a $45 a month plan. Can't really complain about that. It is on the AT&T Tower version. I know Straight Talk runs on both T-Mobile and AT&T. Here you can see my speed tests in order of what I really got. And they range anywhere from 16 to 29, but still, that's very good. And again, going back to this, this is on the AT&T's towers, like the AT&T SIM card that Straight Talk uses, and not the T-Mobile version. With the T-Mobile version, you'll get different speeds, possibly higher from what I hear. And the ping, I think, I've heard is better too. Not quite sure. I haven't tested it out. Just what I heard. Again, on this test... 211 for the ping, 213 on the download, and the upload it's looking like 4.7, 4.9, maybe 5. Yep, there we go, 5. And wait just a couple seconds after this last speed test, and I will show you the settings I use for these speeds. One little tip I used to have an iPhone for Straight Talk, and the speeds you get on that, even with the 5S, even though it has LTE, does not do as well. You would need to jailbreak it in order to install the APN settings, which I'll show you in a second for this, to achieve these type of speeds. Otherwise, you get like 7 to 9 megs in the download, and that's about it. Nothing like this at all. Again, so I would maybe recommend to stay away from the Apple products, unless you plan on jailbreaking it for straight talk, that is. All right, again on the download, 20.9, ping 202, upload 4.75. Here's all the numbers again. And I'll show you the settings real quick. All right, <laughs> let's get into the APN settings for you. Straight Talk is the only one there. And if you cannot really see this, I can put it in the description for you so you can spell it out exactly how it is. But here you can see exactly what I'm running, just to verify. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Any questions, please comment below. If not, thanks for watching. This is I'm a Genius.